This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys, it's your average consumer. And as you can see, today we've got another massive tech unboxing. So you know the deal, I don't, I don't gotta say it, do I? Nah, go grab your snacks, go grab your drinks. Let's relax, chill, and open up some tech. All right, Ari, we finally have Ari here, folks. Come back to reclaim my spot. And I'd like to thank you for getting at her in the comment section of the last massive tech unboxing. Go ahead, Ari, you know the deal, pick one. Um, well, I bought these, so I kinda wanna see that. You going, you going for those? Yeah. Okay. She wants to see the thing that she purchased. All right, well, so be it. Here we have, what is this called anyway? The LifeX Beam. Do I need a, do I need my knife? I do need my knife. So, and for the guy who got at me, about using a box cutter. You made me go out and buy a new knife, okay? You proud of yourself? I'm not usually this easy to influence, guys, but I wanted a new knife anyway, so that worked out. I already got some ideas for this. If this thing looks good, I'm thinking maybe a little something around here to spice it up, yeah? yeah? So you guys can see this right here. This is an example of what it's supposed to look like. And here we have them. Hmm. So there are six pieces. So this is kind of like a combo between LED strips and the Aurora Nano Leafs where you can kind of put them together. So you can't really make too many designs though. They kind of just go in a line. Okay, so what else have we got? We got a wall adapter and I guess, oh, this is the piece right here. So this is like a triple piece. So you can connect one on this side, this side, and this side. So you can make like a T out of it. Dang, it's gonna get really expensive to make a really cool pattern out of here. But what's also cool about this besides just creating these patterns and these interesting designs is the fact that it is voice controlled. So you can use Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, all that good stuff to kind of control the lights. So that's interesting. We've got two sets. You guys should be seeing a change to the setup here pretty soon. It's just gonna be teal. Why even act like it's gonna be something special? It's gonna be teal, guys. Now, Jay, my man, I'm not gonna forget about you. You can go ahead and pick something too. We got a new tradition, two picks. This guy right here? Okay, I think I already know what this is. Ho, 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 ho. You guys see what this is? Oppo, baby. That Oppo Find X. I'm hoping it's the Glacier Blue. The Glacier Blue one looks amazing, but we'll see what we get. Not a bad box. The all screen phone. Please, 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 please. What is it, Jay? Purple. Dang. Okay, it's purple. It's a dope looking phone regardless. I just really wanted that Glacier Blue, but it's all good, it's all good. This is still a very, very nice looking phone, man, even in purple. And for those of you who aren't familiar with this Oppo Find X, who don't know about it, have never heard of it, this is pretty much an Android device, which looks really, really cool. But one thing you'll notice in the front is that you've got no bezels. That means no front-facing camera, none of that. It's completely gone. Wow. So it has a tiny bit of a chin and a little bit of a bezel up top. So there's, it's not completely bezel-less, but this is, it's good enough to call bezel-less, I get it. And there are no cameras in the back as well. You can't see any. And I'm gonna show you why in just a second. So I'm about to enroll in the face scanning feature. So let's take a look at how this actually pulls it off. All right, so I'll hit continue. Do you guys see that? Just like that. That was, that was cool. That was really cool. So the cameras actually pop up from this little motorized uh, hidden section built right into the phone. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. All right, camera, as soon as you, you know, as soon as you press it. So let's see, is there a delay? I'm trying to get into my phone, take a picture real quick, bam. Hey, it's nothing to scoff at, I'm not complaining about that. 
So not only is this like a great looking phone, but it's got like these cool mechanics to it. And you know, I'm excited for it. So if you guys wanna see a real day in the life with the Oppo Find X, let me know with a comment down below. Maybe hit that thumbs up button so I can know you guys really want it. So this is the new Gundam Breaker game. Did I buy this already? How did I get, did I order two by mistake? When did this even come in? All right, clearly this was a mistake. Maybe I'll post a giveaway tweet on Twitter. If anybody's interested, who shares my love, let me know on Twitter. Ooh, I chose right. So here we've got the new Xbox controller. This one is called, let's see. Do you have a special name, buddy? Oh no, I don't think it has a special name. I mean, look at that. Look at this, guys. This is like a light blue. I thought it was gonna be like a teal, but it's more of a light blue, like a baby blue, really. So it's like a gray and baby blue. Not bad, not bad. I can dig it. But there is one that I'm really excited about. And that's this guy. Now this one, this one has a name. It's called Phantom Black. Oh man. Oh, I got the, I know exactly what I'm gonna do with this controller. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys, but I'm gonna do something special with this. Ooh, I already know. So this is the Phantom Black controller. And not only does it have this nice gradient going through it, like where it's got the black and this, what do you even call this? Is it, it's not gold, uh, but it's got this nice transparent look at the top. You guys see that? You can see right through the controller. This is an awesome, awesome design. I love this. All right, what have we got over here? Oh, Ari was telling me about this. You see, Ari scooped this up herself. That's, when you, that's how you know I've converted her into a techie where she's picking up cool stuff for the channel without me even knowing what they are. This is the Smart Lock Pro Connect, or it's not Smart Lock Pro and Connect for August locks. Okay, works with Amazon Alexa, Apple HomeKit, and Google Assistant. If you're a smart home product in 2018, you better support all three. It just makes no sense not to. Oh, nice. So this thing actually comes with the smart home lock itself and the little Wi-Fi bridge so that you can go ahead and be able to access the lock from anywhere. So I didn't know that they sold these as a kit now. So this is going straight to the new house so that we can have a smart lock right there. This is awesome. All right, so let's see what we've got here. I know you guys see this right here. You see the monitor, but we ain't going for that just yet. Maybe after this one. Wow. Okay, so here we have the suck it. So with the suck it, you can take your phone, suck it onto most surfaces. You guys are trying to get me demonetized, huh? Trying to take away my ad revenue, I hear you. Real funny. So you can suck it onto most surfaces to take videos, selfies, live feeds, to use GPS and more. So this is pretty much it. So it can stretch, so it should be able to work with almost any device, I guess. Should I trust it with the Oppo Find X that we just got our hands on? There's no way. This thing is sliding. Nah. I'm cool. Thanks guys, but this, this is not secure at all. <laughs> I'm gonna give it one more try. So it works better with a phone that has a case. Okay, but I would not try it if you don't have a case since it's risky business anyway. All right, so I wanna take a selfie and I just, I just can't do this. I can't, I can't hold it in my hand, right? Or maybe I got a group picture or something. I'm just gonna go and then put the timer on, I guess. You make a run for it. Okay, I mean, it does its job, I guess. And you can hold it like a pop socket too. I don't know what to say, Jay. Do you like it? <laughs> Jay's like, I played the fifth. <laughs> All right, you've been seeing it. Let's get to it, right? This MSI monitor. All right, so this MSI monitor is the Optics MPG 
27 CQ curved LED gaming monitor. That is a mouthful. Ooh. So we got cables, HDMI cable, display cable, power adapter, booklets with audio jacks. Interesting, audio jacks, okay. And the power plug. And a USB cable, so this thing can act as a hub. Here we have the legs. So this is the stand that keeps it up. Whew. All right, this is a nice display. It holds 27 inches, and this thing has got a lot of cool features, guys. All right, so I got a little something connected to it. Now let me power this guy on. Peep the bottom, guys. I don't know if you can see that, but we got RGB lights right here at the bottom, and that's powered by SteelSeries GameSense. So there's a couple of different things that you can do with this. Of course, you can change the colors, all that good stuff. But if you're playing like a game, it can be like a health bar. Uh, it can be a special indicator of certain things happen in the game. So there's a lot of cool uh, things that you can do to interact with your monitor and your gameplay. So I think that's kind of awesome. And just for you spec heads out there, it's a 2560 by 1440 resolution, 144 hertz refresh rate, one millisecond response time. Uh, and this is, oh snap. I didn't even notice this guys. Check this out. It's got RGBs back here too. Oh, that is dope. Yo. So this is the kind of, this kind of monitor I wouldn't even want to put up against a wall. What, how do you show this off? Oh my goodness, that looks nice. I love that. All right, I gotta find a way to show this off and not cover up that design. That is cool. But either way, this looks like a great monitor. I'm gonna have to uh, test it out, maybe put it in a setup, play some games with it and see how it goes. So check this out, guys. This looks like a care package from Intel. But let's see what we've got. Got some swag over here. Innovators 2018, your average consumer. Custom gear, I'm with it. What's this, Hyper Chiller? Make iced coffee in one minute flat. I don't really drink coffee, but that's kind of cool. So you can use it to chill wine, whiskey, iced tea, a glass of juice. Oh, this is awesome. I want to try this out. All right, we've also got a Google Home Mini. Now, I've actually got a few of these. If you guys want one, I'll give I'll give this one away on Twitter. Uh, still thankful for it, uh, Intel, but cool. Help out one of the subs. Oh, this is like one of the fancy tiles. If you don't know tile, you can find your lost items with this. I talked about it quite a bit on the channel already. Can't have too many of those. Front and back seat car charger. Okay, so if you plug this guy in in the front, uh, you got some USB ports in the front and someone in the back can use the other USB ports. So you got five in total. That's kind of cool. This is the Dudo fall asleep faster. Okay, so by focusing on the light beam projected on the ceiling, slows down the flow of your thoughts at the same time synchronizing your abdominal breathing with the movement of the light gradually reducing your breathing rate from 11 to six breaths per minute. I could personally use this. It's designed for insomniacs. You know who could probably use this? John Rettinger. He's complained about insomnia on Twitter before. Maybe I'll show this to him. Over here, we've got a uh, Lumi Man. So this is what, a smart bulb? You can control the color temperature and it's just a smart light bulb. An electronic luggage scale. So you get one of these and you pretty much just pull up your suitcase and it'll tell you how heavy it is without you having to find out right at the airport. So this is actually useful. Why don't more people have this? I guess I didn't know this existed, so maybe a lot of people don't, but this is actually really useful if you travel a lot. So I don't know what this is. I think this is from Rustico. I've never heard of them. This is a fancy looking thing. It says your average consumer on there. This is kind of nice. Okay, maybe it's supposed to hold three earbuds. Okay, so this is supposed to be an organizer for your cables. So if you have any special cables, you wanna keep them in a really nice, cool, fancy 
pouch of some sort, you can throw them in here. But all right, huge shout out to Intel for, you know, sending this stuff out. Oh yeah. So these are just a pair of speakers that I picked up from Logitech. These are the MX Sound. Uh, these are Bluetooth speakers. And I think you can, of course, plug them into your computer, use them as a regular desktop speaker, but you can use them wirelessly as well. I don't think this thing comes with a subwoofer, so shouldn't expect any crazy bass or anything. Oh, oh is this is this supposed to be where the bass comes out of? Oh, this could be kind of cool. So we just might get some bass out of this. This is a pretty comp. I like this design. Wow. This is actually a lot more impressive than I expected. It's got some heft to it, so it doesn't feel like a cheap pair of speakers. And the fact that there might actually be some solid bass that comes from this, it's got my attention. Okay, so here we have both of them. Nice, clean look. But I'll let you guys know how they sound. I'm gonna give it a shot. I'm hoping that we get some solid bass out of these, but this looks good so far. I think this came from the PO box as well. I have no idea what this is. What is this? Oh, okay. Strengthened glass screen protector for the iPad. I'm surprised they even sent this because there's not that much buzz on the iPad right now. There's like no buzz on the iPad. So, okay. iPad Pro case, iPad Pro screen protector. That's how we're ending off this massive tech unboxing. Psych! We're ending it off with Squarespace. Now I'm sure a lot of you have heard about Squarespace by now, but they make it crazy simple for you to build your own website. I've actually used them in the past and had a really nice experience just kind of building up my site. So if you want to build something up, whether it's for commerce, a blog, whatever it may be, you have a ton of different templates to choose from and kind of make it your own. They've even got 24 seven customer support through live chat or email. And it starts at just $12 a month and you even get a free domain if you sign up for a year. So if you've been waiting to start your own website, wait no longer and be sure to check out squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash your average consumer to save 10% on your first purchase of a website or a domain. But that about wraps it up for this video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section which things you guys wanna see come to the channel first. I'm already really liking this monitor. Those beams you're probably gonna see. There's a lot to choose from, guys. But till the next one, it's your average consumer. Peace.